Now to Washington, where the feud between President Trump and his former White House aide, Amarosa Manigault Newman, is heating up. Our ABC correspondent Arlette Sines has the latest. As the Trump campaign pushes to keep her quiet, Amarosa Manigault Newman is fighting back. On The Daily Show, I had to cover my back and document what I saw as an opportunity to kind of blow the whistle on a lot of the corruption going on in the White House. And on MSNBC. What is he trying to hide? What is he afraid of? If he hadn't said anything that was derogatory or demeaning to African Americans and women, why would he go to this extent to try to shut me down? Trump campaign lawyers allege Omarosa violated her 2016 non-disclosure agreement with the campaign. I don't believe that I violated, but I'm going to leave that to the lawyers to sort that out. With the legal fight brewing, President Trump is on the attack, calling his former aide a crazed crying lowlife, adding good work by General Kelly for quickly firing that dog. Among her most explosive claims, Omarosa says there's a tape of Trump using the N-word during his apprentice days. The president insists there are no tapes of him using such a terrible and disgusting word, adding, I don't have that word in my vocabulary and never have. The White House was asked if they can guarantee there's no recording of the president using the N-word. I can't guarantee uh, anything, but I can tell you that the president addressed this question directly. I can tell you that I've never heard it. Omarosa also claims she was interviewed by the special counsel's office. Sources close to the White House tell ABC News the special counsel's team never asked to speak with Omarosa while she worked at the White House. She left that job back in December, so it's unknown if she was contacted after that. Arlette Signs, ABC News, Washington.